Hi, this is Ali and uh, today we are going to make a video about the major cities of Ukraine. We are going to discuss about which city is uh, expensive and which city is budget friendly. I'm going to talk about five cities today and we are going to talk about the jobs as well. These are a few things that students want to know. We had some comments about uh, these topics and uh, I really wanted to cover these topics because these are the hot topics these days. Students really want to know that uh, in which city we can do jobs and in which city we can have uh, less expenses. So I was thinking since last few days, let's make a video on that. So I'm going to talk about five major cities of Ukraine. I hope that that's going to help. So I will start with um, uh, Kiev. Uh, first, let me uh, explain about the list. Number one on my list is uh, Kiev. Number two is uh, Odessa. Number three is Kharkov. On number four, I will talk about Lviv. And on number five, I will talk about Dnipro. So let's, let's start from number five. I will talk about uh, Dnipro. Dnipro is a, is a good city, not very big, and uh, it's not very expensive. It's, uh, the people are very friendly there, and uh, maybe you cannot have that much options about the university, but you, if you are sitting in Dnipro, you can have a very good accommodation in not, um, uh, it's not very expensive. It's, um, you can say it's budget friendly, not, um, very cheap but not very expensive as well and uh, the jobs in Dnipro is I would say that uh, the job sector is um, for foreigner students it's not very active you can like uh, get some jobs related to um, like you can work as a foreigner student you can work in kitchen and maybe you can work on uh, as a taxi driver or maybe uber bold these kind of few things uh, you have very uh, limited options in Dnipro but overall the city is nice and beautiful let's talk about Lviv one of my favorite cities I will talk about Lviv Lviv is one of the I will say one of the finest cities in Ukraine it's uh, it's not very big city but the vibes in that city is like uh, you will actually feel like that you are in Europe and the city is a bit expensive a bit expensive The job sector is not very huge, but you can um, get almost like all kind of jobs and uh, The options of universities in Lviv is very good like you can have uh, uh, You can have a huge number of uh, universities in Lviv Lviv is one of my favorite cities and uh, if I talk about Kharkov, Kharkov is, uh, is not a very busy city, but uh, we call Kharkov as an industrial area. And uh, we have some very famous universities in Kharkov, like VN Karazian and Kharkiv National Medical University. A lot of Asian students and African students come to Kharkov just because Kharkov have few good options. The city is big. The city have a uh, few good options about the jobs. Uh, you can have a job in call centers in which uh, you do sales and your English should be good. If you're a foreigner student, at least your English should be good. And the city is not very expensive. The city is not very, um, very cheap. It's, I would say, the city, the expenses is in between, like not very expensive, not very cheap and uh, the people are friendly in Kharkov and uh, let's talk about Odessa Odessa is a city with very beautiful beaches the options about the jobs are good the city is uh, not very um, very busy but uh, the jobs uh, sector in Odessa is not very active if you are a foreigner student and you want to live in Odessa the city is not also very expensive in Odessa there are just like uh, few options about like uh, jobs you can work uh, in a call center and you can drive a taxi and uh, people are also very nice Odessa have some very old universities which are like 200 300 years old 
and uh, foreigner students do come to Odessa because of the beauty of Odessa and because of some good universities. For jobs, they also have to move to some different cities. Which city is active in jobs and have a huge market um, of universities, uh, different kind of courses, different kind of uh, people, diversity. I'm talking about Kiev right now. The Kiev is uh, on number one. There are a lot of a lot of options about uh, the subjects, the facilities, the universities, the jobs, the diversity, different nationalities. Uh, you can like have uh, almost everything in Kiev. You must be saying why I'm smiling. Yes, of course, I'm in Kiev right now. And uh, Kyiv have almost all options. Kyiv is a, a bit expensive like Lviv. Other three cities are not very expensive. But Kyiv is expensive. But uh, another edge that you're going to get in Kyiv is that you're going to get a lot of jobs in Kyiv because uh, Kyiv is the capital. The most important thing that I wanted to inform, Kyiv is the capital. And you, if you are a um, foreigner, uh, you come to Ukraine to study, you will be choosing Kyiv for jobs and the universities are very good if you want to find a university for fashion designing for medicine for pharmacy for nursing uh, for language you can find all universities in Kiev you can have job related to uh, sales related to um, uh, ho hospitality and tourism management related to uh, Uber as a, if you want to be a driver, you want to drive a car, you can have a job uh, uh, for this occupation as well. You can have part-time job in universities as well. You can have job on um, petrol pumps and a lot of more options like uh, Kiev is the capital. And uh, let's talk about um, the accommodation and everything. In Kiev, you can find accommodation in which you can share with somebody. In another cities, it's not like that because uh, in another cities, accommodation is a bit cheap, so you can have your own accommodation. In Kiev, accommodation is a bit expensive, so you can share your accommodation with uh, your fellows, university fellows, and uh, you can find um, on some websites about accommodation. Um, they can help you, the agents, who the realtors who work. Um, in the accommodation department they can help you find accommodation uh, now I will talk about uh, these five cities one more time and I will tell about uh, the rates of accommodation and everything in Kiev you can find a room in like uh, uh, in between 150 to 250 dollars in Lviv it it's almost same in uh, Kharkov it's uh, it between 100 to 150 in Odessa, it's you can find in like 100 to 120 and in Dnipro you can find it even in $100. But the room will be sharing with one or two people. And uh, I hope that this video is going to help students as well as those people who are coming to Ukraine to get settled. And there are some options in which uh, you can get permanent residency in short time. I will talk about that in the next video. I hope that information was helpful for the foreigner students if you want to uh, uh, tell us about more subjects you can comment below i will try to make video on that next time and uh, yeah uh, for today that's it uh, we will meet in next video thank you so much